हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज आर थर्ड वीडियो ऑन द एनालिसिस ऑफ कोल सैंपल एंड हियर इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिटरमिन द एश कंटेंट इन ए कोल सैंपल सो हियर आई हैव रिटर्न द प्रोसीजर हाउ वी आर प्रोसीडिंग दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड रादर रीडिंग दिस आई विल शो यू द लैब एक्टिविटी देयर यू विल बेटर अंडरस्टैंड सो दिस इज द वेट ऑफ द क्रूसिबल वी आर गोइंग टू पुट दिस वैल्यू इन द टेबल here is the coal sample which we obtained after removal of the volatile material in the second experiment now we are putting this coal sample in the muffle furnace and we are not going to put lid on this crucible we have kept this sample in the muffle furnace at 700 degree centigrade for 10 minutes so this experiment is carried out for 10 minutes mm -hmm. Here I am going to show you how it looks like at 700 degrees centigrade. In case this is very important, you don't do this kind of experiment. You don't do this exercise. This is not uh, safe. This is very dangerous. The sample is cooled down in the first in the furnace and then it is kept in the dishpan. And after complete cooling, we are going to wait this sample. Now we are going to wait the sample. so the ash content with crucible gives this much weight and you can see this is grayish in color actually so this is different from the product which we received after volatile which we received after volatile content so this is white that is black and here it is without lid so it get oxidized and that is with lid so that that is not get oxidized so we are going to put this value in the table and we are going to measure the percentage ash content here are the readings which i got from the experiment and i have mentioned over here weight of coal sample you can determine b minus a so b is the weight of the crucible plus coal sample and this is the weight of coal sample taken now what is the ash content weight of the ash content left so to determine this we need to carry out the experiment weight of the crucible plus coal sample after heating you just remove the sample from the crucible and then weight that crucible without coal sample so from there you can measure the ash content actually otherwise you will get the negative value here i have mentioned this so you should be very careful about this type of experiment so here is the per percentage of ash content how we are going to determine this so weight of ash left so that has been calculated from here and the weight of the coal sample that is this much multiplied by 100 and then we get the percentage of ash content now determination of fixed carbon content so how to determine the fixed carbon so more is the fixed carbon better is the calorific value of the coal sample percentage of fixed carbon can be calculated by subtracting the percentage moisture content percentage volatile matter content plus percentage of ash content from 100 so in this manner one can calculate the fixed value and these are the four different parameters which we can which we can determine by the approximate analysis of the coal sample so the importance of doing this uh, ash content and fixed carbon so ash is the useless non combustible matter which reduces the calorific value of the coal so lesser is the percentage of ash in the coal sample better is the fuel value of the coal and the fixed carbon higher is the fixed carbon content better is the quality of coal as higher is the calorific value of the coal hence high percentage of fixed carbon is desired so this is all about these three experiments which we have carried out in the laboratory so i hope you find these videos helpful and thank you all thanks for watching